Anytime you're asked to solve a system of equations, keep in mind you have a few options for how to do the problem. One option is by graphing. Another option is by substitution, which is what we're going to look at now. You might try elimination or matrices. Let's talk more about substitution. There's two different ways to go about it. One way to do substitution is to put both equations into y equals mx plus b form. And then you write these expressions as equal to each other in an equation. It's kind of like this idea. You guys know that in the United States, four quarters is equal to one dollar, right? Four quarters is a dollar. I could also say ten dimes is equal to a dollar. So what this process is doing using substitution, you're going to write something along the lines of four quarters is equal to ten dimes. I use D and Q to, to abbreviate, but I think you guys get the idea. It's the substitution piece where these two expressions become equal to each other if they're both equal to y. That's one option to do for how to do substitution. The other way to do substitution is to solve for one variable and then substitute the expression into the other equation. Like for example, if I have something like y equals 2x minus 3 and 4x minus 2y equals 4, something like that, I just made that up, and I wanted to solve using substitution, I know that y could be replaced with 2x take away 3. So instead of y right there, I'm going to write the whole quantity 2x take away 3 and then solve the equation. I'm not going to do this problem all the way. I just want to set it up so you guys can see how substitution works. You substitute this expression into where that equation has the letter y. And now I have one equation with one variable. It only has x. And that's something I know how to solve. Either way, no matter how you choose to solve this system of equation with substitutions, please make sure your answer is a point, meaning it has an x value and a y value. The solution to a system of equations is the point where the lines cross. You need to find not only half, like the x or the y, you need to find both. Your final answer will always look like some x number, comma, some y number. So again, you always have a choice for how to solve systems of equations. Substitution is effective if you have either one letter already solved, meaning it's all by itself, or if you have two equations that are in y equals mx plus b form.